What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage and today we're looking at the Adia Trooper 01 e-bike. So we're going to go over a few of the features and then we're going to hit the road with this bike. Now this bike it has no gears to it. Uh, it's just a one gear bike. Uh, you know most e-bikes have seven speed like Shimano's. This does not so I would assume this is more of a road bike and it does have front and rear suspension. Has the uh, standard forks in the front and a single shock in the rear and these are non-adjustable they are what they are uh, but it does ride pretty nice it has front and rear hydraulic disc brakes a lot of bikes in this class have uh, manual disc brakes these have a ton of stopping power like ridiculous to throw you over the handlebars if you're not careful um, it also has of course a full aluminum frame this is by far out of all the bikes we've got i think this is number eight that we've got and reviewed on the channel this is my favorite looking bike this bike looks like a bobber or a cafe racer is what I would say. That's the vibe it gives me. It has a full fender in the rear. It has a half fender in the front, but they did put a fender on the, the frame of the bike to keep mud from splashing up and stuff. has a nice little storage bin, and the battery is, of course, removable, so you can buy multiple batteries and keep on riding. We, so far, have put five miles on this, and the battery hasn't dropped whatsoever. The power, it's a 750-watt, 48-volt hub-mounted motor. This thing feels like a thousand watt bike. We've had a lot of 750 bikes, and we've had 500 bikes, and we've had a thousand watt bikes, and this one feels just like our fastest bike we ever had that was a thousand watts on like takeoff power. It only hits about 20 miles per hour, but it has a ton of power. Uh, has three different modes, eco, mid, and high. We keep it on high, especially since this don't have gears. I don't pedal at all on this bike. I just hit it and go, and this is nice because the storage area, while filming this video, actually held my camera and it was super nice seat doesn't adjust handlebars of course you can adjust front to back but other than that that's all the adjustment you have uh, i really like it so we're just making this video if you're in the market hopefully this will help you to make a decision on the e-bike that you buy so with all that being said let's get it on the road and try this thing out and see what we think of it so this is the trooper 01 electric bike the thing is actually one of the funner bikes for the wattage that it is you would expect with the wattage that it wouldn't be that stout, but, but it is for sure. So if we max it out here, it holds at 20 miles per hour. You can tell the bike would do quite a bit more, but since this isn't a bike with gears, you're only going to be able to pedal so fast with it. And 20 miles an hour is what you can pedal or do with the electric assist. Uh, I got it just pinned. I'm not pedaling at all. And it'll hold 20 extremely well. It also has hydraulic disc brakes. That's a big deal because a lot of mini bikes have mechanical discs. This one does offer hydraulic. It does have full suspension. I will say the suspension is on the stiffer side. Uh, I'm a bigger guy, because, so I like it quite a bit being stiff like that. But I think someone that's 140, 150, it might, you know, almost feel non existent with them but it just pulled that hill really well we dropped about three miles per hour by the top of it but that was a pretty big grade so another thing this bike is a 750 watt bike we've tried out 500 watt 750 and 1000 so far on the channel and i feel like 750 is the smallest bike i would want to mess with but this 750 in all honesty feels like a thousand watt bike like we've had that 1000 watt bike uh out of probably the seven or eight bikes that we've had and this 750 is extremely stout my wife is following me on another e-bike that is 750 and she can't keep up with me on this trooper and she weighs quite a bit less than me the brakes feel awesome on them but especially with the hydraulic disc it just feels really good the thing is like super peppy and like I said, this is not this is a little bit different of a bike because it doesn't have gears. A lot of them have the Shimano 7 speed. This one does not. But in all honesty, I don't see people mountain biking these. These are like commute bikes and on the streets. Like I would would have loved to have one of these when I was in school. You know, I used to walk these streets to my mamaw's house from school and uh I would have killed to have one of these bikes. These things are sick, especially this one with the sporty looks has enough suspension that i'm happy with it like awesome bike and super powerful another big thing is the all aluminum chassis like this thing's extremely well built again i like the sporty look of it how it looks more of a street bike 
than a mountain bike. Um, it has a really good like tough look to it. It's like an urban assault bike is what, what it reminds me of. I like this screen. It's actually it's extremely bright. It doesn't give you more information than it has to. You basically have three modes. You have uh, just no mode, which the electric doesn't work at all. It has eco, mid, and then high. And of course, I'm keeping it in high. Uh, it has your battery gauge and then your miles on it. It's very simple, straightforward. There's nothing, nothing crazy about it. I mean, if we hit it, we get up to speed really fast. Like, thing pulled hard. So it does have a suspension in the front and rear, like I was saying before. The suspension is non-adjustable on the front. A lot of e-bikes have adjustability. And again, I'm a big guy, so I have to adjust it all the way. But my knees are bent quite a bit on this bike, if you can see. Like at the up position, that's way too high. I would have to raise my seat quite a bit. But I'm only using all electric mode, so I don't even see that it's an issue. I'm just riding it how it came because my feet are staying planted. I honestly would love to take one of these bikes and do an engine swap on it. Slap on a ga gas engine and have electric cyst that would be sweet because you could have electric for your takeoff and then the gas could be geared really high to get you going you know up to 50 60 miles an hour i don't know if the tires would handle that but and again the suspension has got some stiffness to it it's not like a, a plush suspension but i think it's what they built this for it can handle off-road but I wouldn't be taking it down no mountain bike pass, you know, with big ruts and stuff. I feel like you would feel it in your spine quite a bit. Uh, but the seats, I mean, I think the seat's really comfortable. That Civic's got a, or that uh, Miata's got a huge spoiler. You know, there's just stuff to look at around here. Uh, so I would say out of all the bikes we've messed with, this one's definitely in my top, uh, probably like top three bikes that we've had. I would say it's number two. Uh, in looks, looks is a big thing on these bikes because um, I mean, you're just street riding them. It ain't like you're uh, actually taking these, jumping them and stuff. But the brakes are extremely well. They have horns on them, but it's just a digital horn. Has a real bright LED headlight, has LED taillights. Um, all in all, it's a pretty sweet bike. I mean, 750 watts, 48 volt system. You can buy extra batteries. Uh, see, I'm down a hill and we were getting you know 24 25 mile an hour but the limit to what the power will provide is 20 miles per hour they've got it limited and there could be a way to go in the settings and really adjust that but uh i'm not positive because i haven't really researched it she gets up real quick though i do like it a lot like i said my wife's having uh trouble keeping up with me behind me and I just got hit with a sprinkler. Son of a gun. Of course, these are fully waterproof. You can ride in the rain. You're not going to hurt them. I wouldn't leave it out in the rain, but you can ride in the rain. Running into the trash guy again. So this bike has a really unique wheel to it where they lighten the wheels by like laser and holes in it. And you can actually feel the tube through the, the holes. Never seen that before. I'm assuming it's to get the wheel as light as possible which i mean is going to help on rotating mass but um it is a really sweet bike make sure to check these bikes out in the video description uh this one has just came out i don't even know if it's fully out yet they sent it to us to uh, show you guys beforehand but i think it's sick it reminds me of a bobber style motorcycle um and we've been riding for a couple miles now the battery level hasn't dropped at all power is just the same as it was when we started and it's a great bike and this is where we like to ride them we come out here this is the city we live in real small town this is near the elementary school we just go and cruise these streets with the kids and stuff and uh it's really fun but uh, make sure to check these bikes out in the video description so we wanted to test this bike out against some different terrain instead of just asphalt because it is a full suspension uh e-bike and you can see right here we're riding through my field and it may look smooth but it's extremely bumpy. Every time you turn around, you're hitting a little pothole or a rut. And uh, the bike handled it pretty decent. It does have a short amount of uh, suspension travel in the rear, 
but the front forks did really good the back i mean it does everything pretty decent of course it does asphalt the best but across this field it handled it perfect you get up to 20 miles per hour really quick and uh we're gonna jump on to a little rougher train which is my woods uh, my woods trail is extremely rough it has a bunch of tree roots it has ruts bumps jumps in it and this thing handled it really good another thing that surprised me is the power through all this like never once did i feel like i needed more power of course you always want more power but this being a 750 watt e-bike it completely blows away every 750 we've ever had uh, but it handled the woods extremely well and then you can see we moved on to gravel which is just our driveway pretty smooth for the most part but we did get a little wheel spin out of it which is surprising for you know just a 750 watt bike got up to 20 miles per hour really quick i know this bike would do 30 35 and there probably is a way to turn the limiter off but it gets to the limit real quick so i would really like to see if you could crank this bike on up and see what it really do I uh, really think you should check this bike out. This one, like I said, 750 watt, but feels like a 1,000 watt bike. Uh, did a pretty dang good job on the whole build out of this bike. So thank you guys so much for checking out this bike. This is the Adia Trooper 01. I don't know if it's out right now. It, they sent it to us early, of course, but uh, I really like it. If you're in the, in the market for a street e-bike, this is the one I think to check out. Uh, make sure to check out the links in the video description. If they give us a discount code, it'll be located down there as well. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We say uh, we love you and God bless.